Now, if you don't have a SmartArt container in your layout, you can still add SmartArt very easily to your uh, slide. Here we can see the existing SmartArt graphic that we created just a little bit ago. I'm going to go to the Insert tab up here at the top, and you're going to see I have a Shapes option here and also a SmartArt option. I'm going to go ahead and click on SmartArt, and you're going to see it gives me the option for choosing the kind of graphic that I want. And this time I'm going to go ahead and select a cycle diagram. And you're going to see the different kinds of diagrams that you can choose here. I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll see the cycle diagram is placed on my slide. Now right now it's overlapping this other smart art graphic. So I'm going to go ahead and make this smaller by pointing in the lower right hand corner and just dragging. And then I'm going to drag from the edge. And there's my cycle diagram. And again, you can work with this in exactly the same way as you worked with items in the other um, graphic. I can come here to design and I can change the style of the buttons if I want. I can change the color right here. I've got some multicolor options as well, some that sort of go with my theme a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and select this one right there. And maybe choose that, or now that, to make them stand out a little bit more. But again, you can change this around and choose different items until you find one that works for you. Now, up to this point, we've been just been working with the default shapes that are in our smart art graphic. But if you wish to add a shape to a smart art graphic, all you have to do is select it and then click Add Shape. And it's going to add the shape before or after whatever you currently have selected. So if I click in this shape right here, and then go to Add Shape and say Add Shape After, it's going to bump over a shape into that particular cell. I can do the same thing here. I can click on Timothy, click Add Shape, and it added a shape in there for me. And now I can go ahead and type another name in. So you can very easily add graphics or move graphics around. If I want to go ahead and drag that over a little bit so it's spaced out a little bit, I can. You'll see I can click the individual items on here just fine. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and move that one up a little bit. I'm going to click on Timothy and move him down just a, a little bit. And you can see how you can move those items around. If you want to delete shapes, you just simply click on the shape and press delete. The more shapes you delete, the more space you have, and the bigger your items will become. If I want to delete the entire smart art graphic, I can just click on the edge of the graphic and hit delete. I'm going to undo that because I'm going to want that graphic there for later. Now, the other kind of uh, object that you can create, image type object that you can create on a slide, are shapes. Now, we have the drawing panel right here which is where we're going to go to. But you can also access these controls by coming over here to the Insert menu and selecting Shape. So either place works. I can click that drop down and again I get all those different kinds of options. And we've already worked with the text box tool to click some and drag a box out somewhere on our design. And then we can add text. And then obviously, just like before, I could format whatever it is I place in that text box just like normal. Change the font color here to something. Move it around wherever I want. But you also have some arrows here, so I can create lines. I'll go ahead and click on that and drag a line out, and you're going to see the line that I get there. If you hold down the shift key when you're dragging out a line, it will make it a straight line for you. I'm going to hold down the shift key and drag, and you're going to see even if I move up or down, that line doesn't move. So if you want a straight line, hold down the shift key as you drag. We've also got boxes, ovals, and different kinds of shapes here. 
I'm going to go ahead and select the box here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and draw a box out. Whoops. There we go. And you'll see what that looks like. Now, formatting lines and formatting shapes is very simple. And you've already actually seen examples of how we can change um, fill colors and line styles when we worked with the smart art graphics and the frames for um, images and when we worked with tables. So the same thing is true. If I come up here, you're going to see I've got shape fill, shape outline, including no outline if you want to remove the outline from around a shape. And I control the weight of the border, the dash style if any, and also any arrows. Now the arrows are grayed out right now because I have a box selected. But if I click on a line like this and come to shape outline, you're going to see I can place an arrow on that particular shape. The thicker the line, the thicker the arrow will be. So if I choose a thick line here, you're going to see my arrow becomes a little bit more prominent. So shapes and lines, you can get to the formatting options right up here. And you can also come in and I've got some quick styles here that you may want to look at. And you have your range options for layering. So if you're trying to do something like create a map, you may need to use some of these tools. And that's what we'll go ahead and do next. I'm going to go ahead and delete both of these shapes. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on new slide. And this time what I'm going to go ahead and select is title only. I just want a big open area where I can draw a map. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And I'm going to go ahead and type map to Cal State Fullerton. And then we're going to go ahead and draw some lines. I'm going to go ahead and click on that line tool there. And I'm going to go ahead and drag a line out. And again, I'm holding the shift key down and that makes it so that it's going to be a straight line. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag another line out right over here. And a final one over here. And you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead and click on my rectangle shape. And I'm going to go ahead and drag out a rectangle. Maybe move it up just a tad. If you use your arrow keys, you can see how you can move items around. If I use the shift key with the arrow keys, I can actually resize graphics. And that's a really great trick. If I hold down the control key, it's going to move the shape at an even finer increment. You can see here, without anything held down, the amount of space that I move, with the control key held down, you'll see you get much finer increments, so you can control um, this much better. Now, now I want to go ahead and put some text on my map. So I'm just going to go ahead and click in that box and type Cal State Fullerton. For these lines here, I can't actually just type text on them. What I'm going to need to do is choose the text box tool and drag a box out. And you can make this a lot faster just simply by copying that box and then pasting it and moving it into position. So you can see how easy it is to use words, I'm sorry, to use PowerPoint's um, drawing tools. And again, if you've worked with Excel or you've worked with Microsoft Word, the drawing tools in those applications are similar to the drawing tools in uh, PowerPoint. 